Hey everybody, we're live. It's the Irregulars. Matt Posner, Chris Priester walking in the door as Whoa. usual. Here he comes. Got to be a minute late or That's 30 seconds late. He's got to make that grand entrance. Right. You know, we're dealing with a celebrity now. So, I mean, what? We're live. I tagged you. It'll okay. pop up. Give it a minute. Hey. You know, it's still social media. Yeah. They got to make it. Look, he's got Come on. Come on. There it is. Right there. How the hell are you? Yeah, oh, boy. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my. No, I've been with white people so much this weekend. I don't know what well, to you do. Had, you, had a, you had a big weekend. Yes. You opened for somebody last night. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Weird. Um, weird. Uh, nice guy. Um, what was his name? Blake. Blake somebody. He was uh, Packed house? Yeah, it's a good crowd. He's, yeah, on a Sunday that's what night. tells me these comments have a bunch of followers, man. You think people don't have a following? I wasn't expecting much last night, but boy, we have a packed house. Uh, Damon Anderson uh, joining. I haven't seen that name in a long hey, time. Hey, A Washington, D.C. guy. What up? Okay. But yeah, it was very, very different. Brian Kaplan, Michelle's brother. Very different. Really? Yeah. A lot of weird like Brian, kids in there last night, but that's okay. I did my thing. That was your funny. thing? That was funny. So look, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, the Miami elephant. Dolphins. Probably going straight there. We got to go straight there. But you, but you know what though? Here's the thing: if you're going to talk about the Dolphins, you got to talk about the Jets. And everybody else. That's why I'm going to talk about. I'm a Jet fan. Okay, but, so but this. Mike Carrigan joining us. What's Josh up? Rosen. Hey, Mike. But but listen. Okay, first of all, the Dolphins. It's pitiful. The Jets. Adam Gaze. Pitiful. Okay, what's even more pitiful, Sheila Kaplan joining us. Hey, Sheila, Michelle's mom. What's even Pittsburgh Steelers pitiful. But what's even more pitiful to the NFL mm -hmm. is Antonio Brown going to the Pats. And I know Mike, a big Patriots fan. If you're a Patriots fan, you're very happy about it. I'm happy as a black man. But, but will he destroy the chemistry mm -hmm. in New England? Okay. Will Tom Brady be able to rein in Antonio Brown. Tom Brady already. Hi, Sheila. Tom's embracing it. He's probably sleeping on Tom's couch as we speak this week till he finds a, a spot. Tom is telling him everything he needs. He's like, dude, you want to win or what? I watched him last night. He scored 33 points without the guy. Without the guy. My God. They're going to add and, him? And without Gronkowski, too. Yeah. He's going to come out of retirement, too. Everybody no, him now. no, he doesn't want to play anymore. He's doing his CBD tour. I'm proud of everybody. Yeah, I like that. Look, I like, he's doing CBD. He's promoting his CBD company, and he's very happy. Yeah, he's being white. You know, he, he, he doesn't – look, and, and look, you got to love Gronk because he's only spent the money from his endorsements. He oh, never wow. spent a dollar of any of his contractual money. No, that sounds so nice to me. Like, like he's one of those guys that yeah. won't go broke. Proud of him. Proud of him, right? Yeah, There's so many of these guys go broke. It's hard. It's easy to do. Now, the, now here's the, the – if you're a Cleveland Browns fan, oh, that's a real problem. With all the hype around the Cleveland Browns, that was brutal. That was brutal. And you got to feel good about Matt Marcus Mariota from Tennessee. All right, Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah. You know, finally having – a good game opening week in the Tennessee Titans. I realize this is the Ravens. <laughs> oh, they just they had, they had three Heisman Trophy with a score yesterday. That's embarrassing, though. I forgot RG3 won a Heisman. Right. Mark, Mark Ingram, Ingram won, won a Heisman. Heisman. And Lamar Jackson. And Mark Ingram's dad still watching him from behind bars. And all, yeah, he is. And all the Lamar Jackson people from Pompano and Boy, Boy Beach, and yeah, they they were so excited. Terrible. Terrible. It was like a home game for Baltimore. Yeah, if you're a Dolphins fan, do you have the right to ask for your money back? Like, I would, I, look, if I go to Whole Foods or I go to a store and I don't like what I bought, I can get my shit. I can get my money back. I was sitting there laughing. Hillary Jones, hey, hey, Hillary. I was sitting there laughing because. Now, all of a sudden, I hear this morning that some of the Dolphins players call their agents, I, I want out. out. You're not Antonio Brown. You're a Dolphin. You suck. But you knew going in. Yeah, you can't demand you can't a trade. Look. You suck. And, and I'm going to say this to Dolphin fans, okay? Other than that, look, there, there is some reverse racism going on in the, in the Dolphins organization. How so? 
Okay, you have a black GM. Mm -hmm. You have a black head coach. Oh, yeah. You have a black defensive coordinator. Right. You have an all-black defensive uh, unit. All right. Okay. I might root for the dog. I didn't know they're that dark. They're that dark. Awesome. It reflects the people on the field. Now, in Chris Greer's defense, mm -hmm. okay, he's been given a bad deck of cards. Oh, of course. But uh, going against Chris Greer, mm -hmm. he's been there for 17, 18 years. He's part of the old culture, folks. Yeah. He's been some black privilege. They yeah, look, no his his dad helped. Look, his dad was partially responsible for drafting Tom Brady with the pack. And da his dad was a very successful yeah, front smart. office executive. Yeah, but but Chris Greer, okay, who was the director of college scouting all through the, the bad years. Look, I still say, Dolphin fans, until you make it, Joe Robbie's Hard Rock Stadium. It's over. You've had four winning seasons since they changed his name and took his name off the stadium. Frederick Broadmeyer joining us. That's hey, Frederick. Sad. Well, that was bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. It's bad football. It was ugly to watch. Yeah. Now, even my Giants, my beloved Giants, come on, enough with the bad. enough with Elon. Let's just see what that the was. Some bad football it was it was bad, like, it's okay. I don't know if it was the first week or what, but it was some lopsided. Lisa Great. joining us. Hey, Lisa, Lisa Karen. Hey, Look, I posted yesterday. These guys are supposed to be professionals. Tell them to put their big boy panties on and go to work. Yeah. Look, they went to work, but I mean, come on. The NFL is in bad shape, and here's where it's in bad shape the quality of the, of the football player is gone. Mm. The quality football player is <laughs> not there anymore. Oh, no. We, okay. okay, because you now have – there's a lot of guys that aren't playing football anymore. No. Mamas are not letting their babies grow up to be football players. Right. You can write a country song about them. Nah, soft. Well, I'm they not. are soft, too. There's no hitting. There's, hit. there's no them. hitting. Half these guys, 70% of these guys don't play in the preseason. I saw a video of they're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, they got more resources to wait. He said, the difference is you can't talk to these kids anymore. He said, that's no, why I don't, I don't coach anymore. You can't. That's why I, I don't coach anymore. Because when I was, when I was Amen. raised, whatever Amen. the coach said. Too much entitlement expectation. Exactly. Amen. Whatever Amen. my coach Amen. said, Amen. whatever my coach Amen. said, Amen. that's what went. He had a relationship with my dad, my mom, but so whatever the coach said went. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You're you living in a time now, a kid can curse you out, walk off the field, and you still going to start his ass on Saturday? Yeah. Really? Play rugby. Rugby's a great sport. I saw him play in 12th grade. I, I integrated the field. Great sport. Black guys out there. Great sport. I love rugby. That's nice. It's, it's a tough. good sport. Tough sport. Tough. Look, rugby, Australian news football, even lacrosse. I am a diehard Giants fan. What the F is going to be a long season? Yes, Bill, it is. A long – look, it's going to be a long season for a lot of football fans. The Indianapolis Colts, even though they played the Chargers tough, okay, long season for the Colts. If you're a Steelers fan, Will Murphy joining us, hey, Will, if you're a Steelers fan, not pretty at all. Not pretty at all. If you're a Buccaneers, if you're a Buccaneers fan, there's more bad teams than good. Yes, yes, they're bad. This is gonna be a bad football. Season. Bad football. Season. And look, I posted something about watching soccer. Like the minute I started watching the game, within the first three minutes of the game, commercial, 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 commercial. Three plays and out, punt, commercial. Love you, pal. See you at the pool. Yes, Mike. I hope your daughter's doing great. Have a great senior season. Good hearing from you. Commercial, commercial, commercial. Soccer, no commercials. You watch action for 45 minutes, then they have commercial, and they, you know, they post the advertisements yeah, in the corner. Man, man. I can do it. The fucking soccer game, you just see a bunch of crowd and guys running back and forth. They don't score enough for me. Well, some of those football teams didn't score enough either. Sure that's really that's really now, good. Patrick Mahomes, what's with the magic with that guy? But he lost Tyreek Hill yesterday. Uh, that, that was pretty good. Uh, what I saw, Kansas City, Baltimore. I'm not going to get excited. Come on, Lamar. Doesn't matter. But Lamar Jackson, I think, is going to live up to 
his Heisman hype. I hope so. I hope so. Don't care. Come on, Boynton Beach hype. What the Boynton Beach? Okay. Like him. No, like him. We want to root for that guy. We want Lamar Jackson for mayor. Mayor of Baltimore. Right. They're loving him though. Perfect QBR rating. I would have a perfect QBR. But anyway, anyway, now my first love, which I love more than anything, is college football. Yes. Now we got to talk about Joe Zabrowski joining us. Hey, Joe. Hey. The Miami Hurricanes, fourth and seventeen against a freshman quarterback. How are you not sending the house? And putting it like, how are you not blitzing this kid fourth and 17 where you give him any time? I put that behind. The Ravens were on fire. What's with that? No, that's a good, let me tell you something about the Ravens. That's a good football team. This rookie Brown, the the receiver, okay, Mark Ingram, Edwards, the running back, Gus Edwards from Miami, went to Rutgers. They're good. They're good. They're going to put up points. And Lamar Jackson's hard to defend. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to say this. I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. Ready? And for those of you that are football fans, ready? Lamar Jackson, a thousand times better than Michael Vick. Oh, I see it. He's got character. Too. He okay. throws a much better ball. Mm-hmm. Kevin Thomas joins. Hey, KT. You know Kevin Thomas. Yes, yes. Great ball player. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's mine. Uh, no, 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 no. KT can play. But I'm okay. sitting there looking. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you texted me like you were like after that Miami game. Yeah. Like you were like I was on alert. I you weren't yeah. sure if I if I was on panic alert. Yeah. Because see the problem with college ball, what I saw. Miami at 0 and 2. Allie Hall joining us. We got a new coach. I had great expectations. Yes. And uh we're 0 and 2, man. Now, it hasn't been owned since 1978. That's sad. That's First time. Good. Now, but if you're a Florida State fan, that noose is hanging. 45 points. Now, we haven't had a lynching in a long time. But w- Willie Taggart, Canes and Knowles, headed for another bad season. Yes, yeah. Josh, we, we agree. Because, look, they're going to have tough – Virginia looks now, really good. I will say this, though. I but, but, but FSU, they got the lynching is about to happen. I put a big – A on one-point win – Against Louisiana Monroe? I put a big That's big water boy I territory. Big, I put a big article up on that one. I'm really tired. Yeah, because Jimbo ahead. left him stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jimbo went five and six that last year, and they had to play Louisiana Monroe to make up after Irma, and they went six and six. And they have like the worst academic rate. Jimbo, they're like number 930 in academics in oh, Louisiana Monroe. No, Florida State. Yeah, but they're the number eight, but they moved up to the number 18th public school in the country, according to Oh, they're football players, so. No, but I'm talking about the overall university. Yeah. What's up, Tommy Alexander? Hey, Tommy, they let some bums in that school, man. The freaking Eagles, man, come back and meet the Redskins. Yeah, that was pretty good. I always root against the Eagles. I don't I, I'll, I'll root for the Redskins because yeah, I know they're going to suck. suck. But one good hit in Carson Wentz's. I think we got seven, probably seven good football teams. There's a lot of bad football. A lot of there. bad football. A lot of bad. And football I don't think the Browns are a good football team. I don't think Baker Mayfield. This is a sophomore slump. I think you know people just didn't know what to expect from him. You're gonna year. add Jarvis Landry and freaking Odell Beckham. They're gonna curse that kid out. Oh they're yeah. Gonna, oh, they're gonna be all over him. Louis Saran joining us. He's hey, he's gonna tighten up real fast. So they're gonna blast him. Very fast. Those two are crazy. And they have some weapons on that team. <laughs> Big time. Big job. Job. They got a team. They got a team. The Joku, the tight end, very athletic. Got a, there's a lot of weapons on that team. Now, a couple other football games. If you're a Michigan fan, I watched the Michigan Army. Yes. Army played them tough. Oh, my God. But that, uh, whatever it was, it, it was Harbaugh's hard. spread offense is not there yet. Army guys are so smart. This well, they're smart. Bad, and dis- look, they go 20 hours a day. You get four yeah. hours of sleep. When you go to Annapolis, West Point, wow. or uh, the Air Force Academy, it's a different breed. you're different. Yeah, you're different because you, you're going to school 18 hours a day. You're on the football field for two. You're training for another two. Yeah, that was crazy. But it was crazy. very good. It was, it was a very good game. They played hard. Yes. And they should have beat Michigan. Hard yes. hard. They should have. Now, more on college football. Nick Saban mm-hmm. got very upset 
with the students leaving early at halftime at the Alabama game, Alabama drubbing New Mexico State, 62 to 10. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of it, Mark uh, Goldblum joining us, they didn't cover the spread. They were a 56-point favorite in that game, cover. and they didn't cover. I have inside information that this state is a jerk. I got a couple of kids that play for me. But he's, he was very pissed off that the fans left at halftime. Sure and Please. people were like, give us a game. Come on, Arrogant. stop with the Alabama. Stop with the Arrogant. news. Why can't they play an ACC school? Play Miami. You know, why is Miami playing Bethune-Cookman anymore? When I look at Nick Saban's and uh, Jimbo Fishers, they got that smug face like, I can do what I want to do. I get to well, look, when you're the highest paid employee in the state mm -hmm. on, at a state school, Run this plate. That's a problem. When the governor, who's responsible for 19 million people in the state of Florida, makes way less way le way, makes way less than you, that's a problem. When you're responsible for 85 athletes and you make $10 million a year, a couple of hundred thousand a year. And football coaches, the highest state or basketball coach in the United States, maybe Kentucky or Kentucky. Yeah, sure. That's crazy, it's America. Crazy, America. We've got our priorities all wrong. Yeah, why am I going to tell my kid to have a football? No, no, tell them to shoot jumpers. Right. Go go be a football player. Go play ball. Go play ball. Crazy. Yes. Embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It's, it's stupidity. It really is. Yeah. But look, and then it comes down to, again, Alabama and Clemson. And Clemson. Oh, yeah. It's the house and, 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 and maybe LSU. Yeah, they look good. They look good against Texas. Oh, yeah. We'll see, we'll see if they can just, They always have that one hiccup every year. Yeah, yeah. They always Alabama. have that one game. <laughs> oh, Georgia. No, but no, they lose to Alabama, but then they have like this ugly loss yeah. where it takes them out of the mix, and they and they have two losses. God damn, I was looking at some of these kids this weekend. It's like, what are we eating? There ain't no more, there ain't no vegans out there. Those kids are huge. Now, what do you make of Rocky Top? 0 oh, 2, a loss to Georgia State and BYU. That's Tennessee 0 oh, 2. That's that's uh, Florida State one and one, uh, Miami zero and two. But they got they got they'll keep the job. Now I got to tell you, I went to the UCF FAU game. Mm -hmm. Now UCF has some beasts. Yeah, FAU has not recruited anybody. Mm -hmm. And Lane Kiffin has done a poor job. Like his, I'm surprised. His, his I think he's worn out his welcome a he little bit. He started out pretty good. Well, because he was using the other guy's talent. This is his. This is his. These are his guys now. These are the guys. This is his third year. So the guy that the, la, la, the, the first two years, Alabama can beat the Dolphins. I, I think Clemson could probably beat the Dolphins, and Alabama, I'm not 100% sure. I think Clemson is a better team than Alabama right now. I think the quarterback, I still think Trevor Lawrence is a much better quarterback than Tagovailoa. I'd suck for two years for Trevor Lawrence. Vandy Bates well, joining us, well, George well, Atwell joining us. Yeah, I think I think I think Lawrence is a better quarterback. Good, you got the look. But he's tall. He's six foot five. He moves well in the pocket. After he throws a beautiful man, ball. That's the problem. Lawrence it might not make it in the pros. He's too stiff. He's six six. You know, those tall, big, strong guys. Did you see that crap yesterday? All the little five nine, five ten runs running around. That's the new game now. That little taller, burly guy. Oh, the Cardinals. He ain't gonna lie. He's five foot ten. He's not gonna lie. Right, I said that about Russell Wilson. No. Another five ten. Yeah, but Russell Wilson a different mindset, different quarterback, different quarterback. I thought Lamar Jackson was never going to throw. But he's six foot three. Yeah, he's good. He's six three though. But he's a great athlete. Yes, he is. He can run. Another South Floridian. Matt Pose. Oh, this is our YouTube channel. Hey, we got a link. We got a link to YouTube. That's right. Yeah, check us out on YouTube. So subscribe to our channel. We want to get enough people over there so we can go live on YouTube. There you go. Oklahoma going to win it all. No way. No way. They're tough, but Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is not going to bring him to the He looks a lot different. But you know, he doesn't even look like himself. Is he the same guy? It's look at his. Culture. Put up his picture. He doesn't look like this. Like he looks leaner. But he doesn't. It doesn't look like him. Yeah, he's. he's I was surprised. They put, they put now, I don't know if you're following this story at all, mm -hmm. but it's a big deal right now. Okay, at Notre Dame. Now, we all know Notre Dame. How about Penn State? 
You know, I, I can't go by Idaho and Buffalo. Yeah, and Buffalo yeah. gave them a tough time in the first yeah, half. Yeah. So I, and I, I, I'm not 100% sure of their coach. Uh, Franklin makes me, what's, what, what's going on? Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, I had a show last night. I was set the alarm. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Technology. All right, getting back to Penn State. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm a big Franklin fan at this point, and I'm not sure about the quarterback. So they've got to prove – they've got to win a big game. Yeah, they so got Their time. first two games, come on, Idaho and Buffalo. Yeah. See, that's, that's – give me a break. Now, my son goes to Penn State, and he's even like that. This is embarrassing. Oh. It's, it's, it was. It was. It was. It was some good games. Very good games early. Here, the, and if you stayed up late, the Cal Washington game. Well, that it was, was a great up. game. They they were in a weather delay, and I actually fell asleep, so I had to watch the highlights. But yeah, the game that really stunned me more than anything was the BYU Tennessee game. How does BYU go into Tennessee and beat Tennessee? Tennessee's, Tennessee's done. Yeah, at Rocky good. Top, one hundred and five thousand people. Yeah, a lot of folk in there. A lot of good folk. I got some homies that graduated, but they're not pleased. No, they're not. Uh, uh, now, getting back to the Notre Dame story. Yes. Notre Dame, as everybody knows, has their mascot, which is the leprechaun. And traditionally, the leprechaun has been a short white guy, usually of Irish descent. Yes. Because it's the you're playing the part. Yes. This year, this year's Notre Dame mascots feature one guy who's actually from Northern Ireland, a white guy, and two African-American students. We got two brothers. You got a sister. sister. A sister. A sister, the first, the first woman, and she's black, but she's light-skinned. She's light-skinned. If you see a picture of her, look it up. Yeah. She's a little light-skinned. So I don't sure. know if she's fully or she's one of those mixes. I'm pretty sure the Irish are happy about it. No, there were people that are very unhappy about it yeah. because the Monday night game against Louisville, they used the black guy the as black the mascot, leprechaun. the black leprechaun. Now, I know what's your YouTube channel. It's right up here. Our YouTube so, channel. Uh, yeah, scroll, go, up. scroll up a little bit. It's right here. It's, uh, uh, let's see. I guess. Click the thing and just click. Yeah, it. just click on that and hit subscribe and, and, and subscribe to us. It's under Matt Posner. It's right there. We'll both we'll post it again. If Kira, you can post that again, that would be great. Okay. These people are upset about the leprechaun. Yeah. I would be too. You would be? Yeah, as a brother, um, some things are just off limits. Oops. Black leprechauns just shouldn't happen. No. I'm, I'm sorry, black people. I, I'm all for inclusion and doing the right thing. But a black leprechaun? Nah, I know today. And the sad part is, you got all those brothers out there playing football for you. That's important. Because they're going to make you some money. They can be black Irishmen. Right, they're going to make you some right, money. Right. But you can't have a black cheerleader. Oh, God, oh, God, forget about it. Black mascot, how dare us? No way. Black little leprechaun, how dare he? He should be a leprechaun with gold teeth. Follow the gold. <laughs> Follow the gold. I got gold teeth. I'm we got we got a thug for a I'm leprechaun. A leprechaun. Now you put it out. This is a perfect transition. Yeah. All right, we're done with college football. Yeah, yeah, we're we done with the, the pros. The NFL. Okay, the NFL is not for long. Not I right. still I still say that. But you posted something about thugs mm -hmm. and moms raising their babies, the white women, and raising these mass murderers. Yeah. You want to explain yourself a little bit about that? No. <laughs> Go ahead. Because you got no, a lot of people. Right. I got some flack. You got some, you got some okay. people upset about that. The wording was, I, if you hear about the gangbangers and you hear the mothers raise thugs. Oh. Okay. Whenever I see the serial killer white guy on TV or the mass murderer, I always hear about the mental issues. Or he was distant. Or he was a loner. I never hear that his mama wasn't shit. <laughs> He's just that horrible parents. I never hear that. But you always see, mm -hmm. just you always see the parents so distraught. 
the white parents are like, I didn't see that coming. I knew, yeah. he, I, I, I thought he was a happy kid, you know? Oh, they, they're blind, like they're blind to yeah. something. I thought he was great. I, I, gave, him, I gave him a credit card with a $10,000 limit. I didn't know he was gonna go buy an AR with that. Who knew? Who oh, knew? <laughs> yeah, but, but when, you know, all the bad parents, oh, oh God, oh, you thugs, you're raising thugs. Come on, what, what are they raising? Mass murders. Please, people, don't get me started. My kid went to private school, so I knew what the white people do. They ain't got money. They can hide it. You can hide little Joey's problems. I know, yeah. You can hide little Joey's problems, write a quick donation, and little Joey's problems go away. That's true. I'm so sorry, Mr. Headmaster. Do you know my son's a screw up? How much to make this go away? 10000 but you all, you've talked about the, the, the privilege and how the mm -hmm. judges' kids, you know, oh, yeah. your son went to school with oh, some yeah, of the yeah, judges, yeah. and yeah. you know, all it takes is a phone call. One phone call. One phone call. I'm trying to get there. But you're there. I'm there. You know, you know, I'm up so, 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 Look, you got pulled over the other day. Yes, I did. Let's say if you would have had a cop that wouldn't have been so understanding or wouldn't have recognized you. Yes. And you would have said, Sorry, officer. You would have, and, and he would have said, "Why are you talking to me that way? Exactly. Why are you being? Exactly. Why are you, But no. But, but but let's say, let's because I thought about this. Let's say that the officer would have thought that you might have been a little condescending, yes, and and and, 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 and being too proper, yes, and being like condescending, He's being an ass, exactly, He's being an uppity negro, He's being an arrogant. Okay. okay, hear that. Mm -hmm. What would have, and, and, you, and you would have gotten put in handcuffs. Yes. Would you have just, would you Oh, I'm that guy. I just would have been like, I would, I would have just let him take me. They're not going to get beat up. Right. Oh, before the lawsuit the next day. Right. Yeah, and the call to the judge. The call to the judges. The call to my white friends. The call they to your white like it. Right. You would, it, would, like it, would, it. it would have gone well. Diane yeah. Gilbert joining and us. Diane Gilbert went well. well. I'm one of those Negroes. And that's why I tell people life's about relationships. I graduated from a Northeast. I can't call nobody from there. I went to high school with poor white trash. I can't call those people to get me out of trouble. Well, there has to be somebody that made it from the Northeast. Come on, somebody's had Maybe it. Maybe I was some of those people. Once you graduate, that's it. That's what I told somebody. You never went like, to one of your reunions? Oh, why? I don't like those people like that. The, the, <laughs> the, the couple of people that I had, we were forced to ride the bus together, all of us in the neighborhood. I'm cool with them still. Trey really? Frazier, people like that. Okay, that's your boy. Yeah, we, we were forced out there. We had to watch all the fine girls walk to Dillard every day and got on a freaking bus. That was torture. But didn't you have the good looking white girls? In North no, Coast? we had white trash. Well, I can say it now because <laughs> I've been around different genres of white people. My son went the school with the other uh, yeah, lighthouse no, 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 pointers. No, no, no. Yeah, the lighthouse so pointers and, the, and the, east, the east yeah. side, Fort Lauderdale. But yeah, that, those I, are, I, yeah. I went for it. It, it wasn't cool. I went for, you know, the guys back in the day that would wear the same jeans every day and they would just change their t-shirt. It would be like Metallica one day, Aerosmith the next day, ACDC the next day. It was pretty filthy people. It's okay. I loved them. We got along. Crazy. They voted me most wittiest. George Atwell rode the bus with me. I was voted most wittiest at Northeast. The white people even loved me. George was on the bus. See, so you were just destined to be where you are today. Yes. This is where you belong. Yes. yes. Doing shows, yes. providing, providing lightheartedness, giving some good advice, yes. and telling some jokes. Last night, I was the only black person for miles in the improv. Miles. Yeah, it's, oh my God. Maybe there would have been some black people downstairs. Uh, they want to help. Him. I'm sure there was somebody in the kitchen. Maybe. Yeah, it was a waiter. Yeah, black waiter. Black waiter. Yeah, he took my order. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was, the guy's name was Blake Weber. Don't, Blake Weber. Don't look him up. Nothing wrong. I mean, he, he's a vape guy, and uh, the vape people pay him. He, ride, he did his whole set on a hoverboard. What? 45 minutes rolling back and forth on the hoverboard. No way. He brought some of his fans up, put all their Instagram info on the screen, and started asking them about their pictures and shit. It was really weird. Was it funny? Honestly, was it, was it funny? Okay. It, was okay. it, it was humorous to them. To his them. Fans. His fans. So he uh, has a, he, okay, so good for this guy. Yes, he has he a cult has following. He has a cult following. He's found his niche in life. Yes. He's found a way to be funny. Yeah. 
to a to a certain amount of people. Yes. They probably paid him a couple of grand for the he left here. He, he lives. His mom lives down here. The kid lives in L.A. with his wife. And he travels all over the country, yes, making, he and he does probably thirty gigs a year. Oh my God! Making about yeah, I'm just sitting there staring like this is gonna be my life, man. I'm a, now, did oh. you make it difficult for him? Because oh God, was, yeah. all his little friends. friends. That's the beauty. Of how many what, how many white pictures did you take last night? After oh, this? quite a few. Because the catch was different. They got little ring noses, the dark hair, oh, the, the tattoos, strange, yeah, yeah. strange yeah. Big, big, big tattoos. But, but he, it was weird. So last night, he gave the vision. He's on stage. People pay VIP to take a Oh, my lovely girl from the show. Ladies, I'm in. So he had people lined up to take pictures with him on stage. So I was in the front, you know, hawking t-shirts, selling tees, things sure, like that, anything. giving out my cars, and all his friends. It was so funny. You were my favorite. It's like, oh, stop it. I was like, oh, stop it. It's okay. I was like, oh, stop it. They make me blush. And then they wanted to take pictures with me. Because, see, I got to sit down on the stool and talk to the white man last night. I take pride in being the only black guy in the field. I even fielded questions. And what was the best question you got? Other than the obvious. Last night I asked people, if you don't know, I always ask things you want to ask a black guy, but we're afraid to ask. White guy raises his hand and says, why do all you guys smoke menthol cigarettes? Okay. I was like, that is racist, man. <laughs> I said, that is racist and stereotypical. <laughs> I said, I've never smoked a cigarette. I smoked a cigarette once in my life and spit it out. I don't do cigarettes. He said, I said, Newport? I said, bro, so, what up, coach? I said, so we smoke in Newport? I said, so all, I said, you assume <laughs> all black people smoke menthol cigarettes? I said, you serious, man? You dead serious, dude. He was dead ass serious asking me this. And I was like, dude, I, I haven't even taken a draw of a cigarette. I'm not a cigarette guy. I don't. Oh God, I despise them. My dad smoked them, and he he got sick when I went by. Did your dad smoke menthols? He stopped. But did he when he smoked? He was a Marlboro guy. But did he Marlboro had menthols? Yeah. So, but that was in 1976. For Christ's sake, we had a punk bitch raise his hand and ask, "Do you do menthols? (laughs) You menthol cigarettes?" Jerk. But they're nice people. They were nice people. I mean, I mean, I enjoy. Tell the jokes in front of white people because I try to break stereotypes. Well, you do. You break stereotypes. Yeah, because I want them to know that they're not squeaky clean and I know all their dirty little secrets. That's why I thank God for integration. Well, look, it made a difference in your life. Oh, my for God. Sure. For sure. Thank y'all for putting me on the bus to send me with the white kids in kindergarten and fifth grade and ninth grade to 12. And we, and we need to train. And that, you know, it's perfect because it transitions us into this privileged white thing. Yes. And this whole college with Felicity Huffman and yes. uh, the other, uh, McGla- Lori McLaughlin and yes. her husband. And it looks like they want Felicity Huffman to do with some jail time. She's not. And she's like very sorry about, you know, what she did. And blah, blah, blah. And, 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 but why couldn't her, why can't, why, I, I get that they're famous Hollywood actors and actresses and, and, and Lori Laughlin is, is fighting this thing. She doesn't think she did anything wrong. And they don't. They and don't, the right. That's the problem. That's the problem. I know guys, I know guys, I wouldn't be able to say names, but when we were in college, we were like, how the hell that kid get in that school? West Point, Hawk, all those Ivy League. How he get in there? He didn't have those grades. He wasn't in the top 10% of the class to get into that. Life's about relationships. Daddy can pick up the phone, call one of his old frat brothers. Hey, man, how much to make this shit go down? How much to make it go? Boom, boom, check, rip, party over. Life's about relationships. It is. Look, it happened to me. I was young and dumb. I was at a Dolphins game. It was a Dolphins Pittsburgh Steelers playoff mm-hmm. game. I'll never forget it. And I used to scalp tickets and I would buy and sell. And I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. And I got set up by an undercover cop at the Orange Bowl. I got put in the there was a little jail at the Orange Bowl back in the day. I got my ticket, you know, up here. And thank God for my brother and his relationship. He joined a frat at South Florida. Yeah. And the frat brother's father was a judge in Miami. And everything went bye-bye. Coach Nelson, you got anybody you can call? 
So if you're a coach, you have to have people. You, if you've coached yeah, enough um, years, yeah. yes, because you've made relationships. Yeah. If you were a good coach, yeah. well, that's true too. If I coach that Dillard, the boy that I'm seeing. No, okay. <laughs> wait, but if you coach the Dillard, who are some of the, the prominent guys? Oh, Isaac, football players. Isaac Bruce. Yes. Okay, but uh, he's a good contact. Maybe. I just got to do some lawyers that came out of Dillard. I mean, yeah. people, I'll tell you what, I got, uh, again. No Dillard lawyers, not one Dillard lawyer. No, 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 Come on, Dillard's one of the oldest schools in Broward. There's got to be Dillard lawyers. There's got to be one. Any doctors out of Dillard? Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I think they're back. Oh, Marine is a doctor. But you don't know, think they're in the hospital. Okay, but he's a doctor in Dillard. Okay. And there's got to be a couple of scientists. Probably. There's, there's, some some success. Success. there's some successful I don't know. people. I don't know. I know they got okay. their arts now. It's funny because I don't know if you watched this yet, but it was a great piece on uh, ESPN and the Jesse, pretty much the Jesse Owens story yeah. and the 36 Olympics uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and how he and, and Joe Lewis came out of Alabama and, and were celebrities overseas, but were not looked at as celebrities here in our own country. That's a shame. And that's what we've always been, but that's all right. We're getting better. We can date white girls now. That's all you do now. Come on, how many, there's this all this karma. This is really America's karma getting us back for all those foreign years, man. Dudes who's dating white girls is just a sad. Just making the, the, the until she gets mad, them. until she gets mad and sues him. Or smacks him in the face and then yeah, he, he gets in trouble. Right. Like my dog Al, the good white girl beats him up, but he's the one getting trouble. He black with the white girl. He beep, beep, beep. He don't hit her back. That's okay. They got all the rights. That's why I tell my son and all the other young men. Be careful who you run into. Mm hmm These girls crazy. They can set you up. Some, and if you call the cops, somebody's got to go. Yeah. I learned that. Somebody's got to go. Happened to a family member. She hit him. Got to go. Uh, his punk ass called the cops. See, guys, she went to jail. Guys call the cops now. Yeah. Guys call the cops. If you get hit and abused by your woman, Michelle, don't hit me. Man. Don't don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm gonna fall into a fetal position. I'm gonna fall down <laughs> in a fetal position. And I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. She hit me. She hit me. I fear for my life. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you how. Six foot five versus five foot five. Yeah, I'm just gonna fall, crawl, fetal position. That's it, huh? Fetal position. I was taught early. Oh, fall God. down, fetal position. You're good. So it's just crazy with these people and the, you know, the, the, the again, the white privilege. Because you didn't see any black people, any black celebrities paying off. Nah. Right? They do it. I mean, well, look, I mean, look, uh, Wesley Snipes has gotten in trouble for tax evasion. If, Denzel if, Washington has gotten in a little trouble. If Bill Cosby couldn't do it, if Michael couldn't do it, we don't have a chance. Desiree Rainey. Oh, that's my homegirl who's tagging her. It was okay. like a teacher friend of mine. But if, if the brothers, it's so sad because they try and take, that's why you can't get too up with the black guys. I'm going to stay humble when I get rich. Because whitey is shown over and over. If you get too high and mighty, they'll snatch you down. That's him up. Unless you're Jay-Z. He's not a threat. Why? They love him because he does what they want him to do. Oh, is that it? Yeah, he's one of them. He's, he's a great guy. guy. And they yeah. allow him to make his money and do yeah, it. Yeah, he's loaded. He's got the arts. He doesn't care about no brothers. He stopped selling dope 25 years ago. He made it, so he's away from it. Here's what it is. Right. That's what we do. Is that it? Oh, God, yeah. You get rich and get away from your people. Go to the suburbs. Wow. We're the only race that does that. Yeah, what's happening with our beloved president these days? The whole way, you got to understand, the whole thing with this Alabama hurricane thing, why are we? Why, why is everybody making such a big deal about this? We know he's stupid. And why is why is Noah? And it just makes no sense why people are coming out and what they're saying that he threatened that if anybody went against him, heads were gonna roll. Heads were gonna roll. It was in. A, I mean, at the end of the day, it was, in, it, was, it was on one of the one of the sites. I'm one of the stupid people that really think this guy gonna win again. He is going to win again. Democrats don't have a soul. They don't have anybody. And in, there's no independent. Nothing. And all his homies are behind him. Even the dummies who are losing work. The ones who, all your truck driver friends, all your farmer buddies, they voted for you. They still don't vote for me. Yeah, and I know a friend of 
mind, he has a, a, a showroom with Chinese cabinets. They're worried about where they're getting the supplies from. See? Because of all the tariffs. Build America. Well, we got a bunch of sorry ass video game kids that can't build shit. We still need to get stuff from China. Now, I came up with a great idea the other day. Oh, Jesus. I really did. It's a way to build the wall. It's a way to build the wall. Now, in 2016, everybody knows that the president was real clear yeah. about oh. Mexico, but, but about the wall, but Mexico paying for the wall. I remember that. Right? Mex he, he was real clear, yeah. and he went on his campaign trail, and I spoke to a Trump person the other day, and I had this conversation with them, and there are things that you got to like about Trump, and look, the economy is good right now. Everybody's got money in their pocket. Look, the storm came and everybody had money for supplies. Somehow, yeah, they surely did. Somehow money well, showed. Well, well, well. Go ahead. Okay, oh, that's true. Okay, well, yeah. food stamp, food stamp food right. So go ahead, continue. <laughs> the storm came at a good time. You got in there. <laughs> came the first of the month. Hey, everybody, everybody, did, everybody, everybody did have their. Lucky, I'm getting my food stamp out of it. Everybody. Did. Everybody, everybody ate their food before the storm was yeah, here. Was My like everybody went cool. shopping Thursday and Friday, and by Saturday, Sunday, they were out of food. And so if the storm hits Monday or Tuesday, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. My eight year old peeps in Saturday. Is that? Can we eat the snacks yet? I don't think the storm's coming. <laughs> he's eight years old, following the damn thing on the iPad. These new kids look crazy. Oh, he's got updates coming. He's got updates. He's coming in the room telling me. He's tapped into the guys on the planes. He's, deep. he's tapped in. <laughs> he's locked in. He killed me last week. I think I told you guys last week. Shit, I'm embarrassed. I couldn't find the remote. I'm tearing up the house. He just grabbed my phone, and in two minutes, he died. I put the, I put the remote on your phone. You don't need it. Now I'm getting tutorials from my eight-year-old on how to use a remote on the phone. I was so embarrassed. But I was proud too. I had no idea. I've been 48 this month and had no idea. All right. How to have Mexico build the wall. Let's do it. Okay. So you easy. give these people work visas. You give them work visas. They have to show, they have to pay taxes, they have to prove themselves. Now, when they get their work visa and you're an employee, an employer, Oh. Okay, and they give you the work visa. There's a form that gets filled out, okay. and one of the forms is a wall tax. So you have your FICA, you have your unemployment, your Social Security. Oh, nice! And a wall tax. A wall tax. That if you have that work visa, you're paying for the wall. Okay, you're going to get money taken out of your check to pay for that wall. That's how Mexico pays for the wall. That doesn't work. Cause we, Why? Because all the business people that hire those guys aren't going to pay them that kind of money. Are you well, kidding no, but just whatever you're paying them, if you pay them, if their wages are $700, now maybe what happens is that work visa, that you don't take the Social Security out because they're not going to get Social Security. Yeah. They're only here on a work visa. I was sitting there the other day, freaking people putting up roofs at 7 in the morning. Roofing company, I won't say the name, but they have an American flag on the side of their truck. You got eight immigrants on the roof at seven in the morning banging away. Now, luckily, I was getting my son ready for school because I was on the floor. But if it would have been a weekend, if it would have been summer when I was sleeping in, oh, baby, I'm on the phone. I, I, baby, I know they were illegal. I knew they were legal, but all oh, nice priest of, oh, Mr. America, I could have called ICE and got them all swept off that damn roof. You're not going to do that. I'm so nice. You know, that's bad karma. Yeah, not even Those see guys that. have families. They and that's the American guy. to take more from them. No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying, Lewis, you don't take the Social Security tax out because they're not going to get Social Security. They're not. They're not going to be. They have a work visa. Yeah. So instead, of, instead of taking Social Security tax, you take a wall tax, and that money goes to the wall, building a wall. I'm a, look, 
Lewis, I'm going to keep Matt here in the office with me. He's definitely not running for politics. He'll get us beat up, man. Why? You're not going to tax those poor people. I'm with Lewis. They better they're getting taxed more. anyway. They don't even get a check. The people throw them cash under the table. But I'm saying make them legitimate, though. Give work visas out. And this, my friends, is the contradiction. The rich people, Republicans, Got money, got businesses, but then you want to hire the illegals that you want, that you want to get out of here, but you got to hire them so your company can run well. Of course it is. But see, oh boy, oh boy, 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 boy. But if I go get Pookie and them off the corner, they say let's train Pookie to what? How do you know? He doesn't know. Pookie doesn't want to work for eight dollars. Pookie doesn't want to work for eight dollars. But if Pookie decided to get a skill. Pookie could probably make himself $18, $20 an hour. No. If, why not? If Pookie got too many illegals here and not to work for no, nothing. If Pookie had half a brain and decided to become a plumber, a AC technician, or a, uh, an electrician, or decided to learn how to hang baseboard or even sl sling paint, the white man going to give the work to the illegal. No. He ain't going to give it to Pookie. No, I'll give it to Pookie. I'm going to go find Pookie. You find me. You find me, Pookie. Where is my cousin, Arthur? Arthur is the, is the air conditioning technician. Making Very money. good. Making good money. Oh, but no, 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 no. When he goes and puts up the air conditioning, all the rest of the employees. Speak English. <laughs> yeah, you have to be able to speak English. My cousin's the only. He tells me all the time. Because I'll tell you why. Damn it. You go to any of these vocational schools in South Florida, we got three of them. We do, man, more than three. Yeah. If, three if, prominent if, ones. if I send my American sign now, oh, here's your financial aid, come up with the money, free stuff. But immigrant baby, come. I know, but we don't want it. Pay your damn bill like everybody else. Take We're gonna pay that. Money. Take the free money. Go screw your credit up and take it. There's free money. That's why you see one apartment in Palm Beach. Yeah, North Lauderdale, all of it. We know where it's at, Louis. Shit, if I ran down the street in North Lauderdale and just screamed, Ice, Ice, oh my God, I'm going to take it. Take off running. Oh, I'm going to take off running. Take it off running. All right, let's talk about your upcoming event. Oh, Jesus, we got a lot. Well, you have a couple of them. You have yes. the one in North Lauderdale. Yes. Go um, ahead, talk about that. On the 21st bit. of September. That's in a week. That's yes. a week from Saturday night. Or Beer, Friday night or Saturday night? Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Beer and barbecue. Beer and barbecue. With, with genuine and Lloyd, RBR. This can sing that slow. Now, genuine had that, yeah, he had that yeah. one hit. Yeah, and he's a one hit one. I've got some stuff. Does he? But he's going to probably lip sync. He's going to lip sync, right? All of them, all of them lip sync. You know, like all that wine that the girls love. The girls just get hot. He's going to get them all fired up. Now, are there going to be some hot girls there? Oh, it's going to be packed. This is the street. So, sure. Yeah, probably should yeah, come. You come, bring your lawn chair. Bring it's a family time. event. It's going to be more, <laughs> trust more me. white people. The white people are all there on the street. <laughs> they see a black event, and boy, you'll see the cat ones and the, and the scenes and the emers, and they all make it out there for some reason. My Jewish brethren slide out there some kind of way. And then I've been looking for them to make up. They say, say. Yeah, so that's on the 21st. My birthday is the 23rd, which is a Monday. We're going to be right here on my birthday. I'll be right here. Okay, yeah, I'll be right Maybe we should do it in a sports bar at a restaurant. No? I'm I'm a, I'm I've been there, ate all my free meals by then. I'm celebrating that weekend. Now, where do you go? Denny's? You go to Denny's? Wait, hold on. I mean, where do you go for the free meals? I know it's Denny's, Denny's, Denny's IHOP, IHOP, Golden Corral, right. Menchie's ice cream. Gives you free on your birthday? I, love it. I like Menchie's. Yes, I'm going. Menchie's is good stuff. Right. And then the night before my birthday, yes. everybody has to, you have to come to this. Sistrunk this the Sistrunk Comedy Festival. Look who they had now. See that? Big, 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 big. Push piece. Push piece. Push piece. Who's the MC that night? Oh, Mitch Asley. He's a funny motherfucker. Oh, I got white people, Chris Flanagan. And you got free Chris Flanagan. He's a very funny motherfucker. Right. Oh, okay. Now I got a blind dude. See no evil. Funny as shit. All, All right, right. So if you want to come out and celebrate. L.A. Hardy. Perry McCutcheon. Come on from B-Roll. If you want to come out and yes. celebrate my birthday, November, yes. my birthday's November 4th. Get your tickets now. 
Yeah. Get your tickets to Lauder Hill Performing Arts Center. Very safe for my wife, Frank. It's a very good place. Very, safe. very comfortable. Yes. You're going to have some vendors there? Yes, right? yes. Vendors and food. All and food, food trucks? Food, food trucks? trucks? Yes. This truck is renovated. So you got the food trucks set up. Yeah. So you got the one with the ice cream pops? You got to get that one. I don't know. You got to get uh, George Atwell will be there. Atwell, George. Come on, people. You got to come out to this. This is going to be a great event. Yes, it is. And last but not least, yes. I just want to congratulate and, and say a shout out to my lovely girlfriend. We signed the lease today for the PV20 studio. Yeah. It's a Vision Body 20 studio. It's a new workout. It's a 20-minute workout. We'll talk more about it next show. Yeah. But coming soon to Delray BB20 Studio, we're going to have a huge grand opening, and we're going to do the show there there. on Monday night at Delray, and we're going to have some big fun I'm at BB20 Studio. And again, I, I, I can't believe 50 minutes went by. It goes, so it goes so fast. Like we had, like I have like a bunch of things That's to cover. Okay. Today. But uh, oh, there's so much going on. It's, it's just hard to cover it all. We but uh, we love everybody. Thanks for. For chiming in. Yes. We've got the Irregulars. I'm Matt Posner. He's Chris Brickson. Thank you. Have a great week, everybody, and a great a greater weekend. We'll see you next Monday. Peace. Yep.